On this week's fan service, we discuss our favorite upcoming winter 2020 anime. What anime is better than manga? Are there any? Uh, does reading make you smarter? And <laughs> anime monster girl brothels. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming we started already. Like, did we let's start? just start. When did we start? Let's just start, start now. I think I started when I asked about hentai. I think that's yeah. exactly that's when we started. Exactly when we started. And what a way to kick off yeah. the new year. Happy new, new year, new year. us. Happy new year. Happy, Happy new year. 2020 is hindsight. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is the year of hindsight. Yeah. Yeah. Of Lord hindsight. knows we have enough of that <laughs> up already. Oh well, oh, this yeah. is fan service. Yes. Rooster Teeth's official anime podcast. I am one of your hosts, Cole, and I am joined by some lovely people here today. Who are you guys? In hindsight, I'm Issa. In foresight, I'm Miles. And in current sight, I'm Chris. Oh. Well, it's like the Christmas carol. <laughs> Are we going to say the, go- the ghosts oh. of future sight, <laughs> past sight, and present sight. I'm going to show you some scary anime shit, it's, it's and you're going to regret the things you did. <laughs> it's the worst because my sight is like not even a special power. You're just Scrooge. Just, I just see things. No, he's the big guy. Come in and know me better, oh, man. Yeah, that's right. Present is like not yeah. Santa. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Santa not Santa not Santa. Santa, not Santa. Not Santa. <laughs> yeah. So like Marvel. Really how was how was everybody's uh, how was everybody's break? Good. I Could've played a lot of anime, anime games and I watched anime. I would have been so disappointed if you hadn't. Not yeah. disappointed. I would have been concerned. Uh, me too. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I would have been dead. <laughs> that's the that's where the bar is set. If I'm not watching anime, I'm, I'm dead. dead. Well, yeah. Yeah. Off or on. Well, and then also my New Year's resolution this year is to read one hour. Every day. Oh, Cute. And, how's that gone so far? Uh, good. I read one hour yesterday. It's been two yeah. days. Yeah. I, I just like wanted to like make sure he didn't day. start off. With I the actually wrong read book. an hour and a half. Okay, well. So does, um, does you get? Do you get rollover minutes? No. With this? Do you only have that's to read cheating. thirty minutes today? <laughs> no, that's cheating. Okay, just checking. Just do you checking. like for people to go to the gym? Can they just work out like six hours one day and then they're good for a week? Yeah, that's how I do it. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to the gym once and he comes back a fucking monster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every right. day. I'm so fit, <laughs> but I also feel did like you, death every day. Did you know that reading at least ten minutes a day makes you smarter? Ooh. That explains a be lot of things. Six times smarter than everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Explains a lot. I haven't read a book in like. <laughs> you know what that means, Chris? That means you're stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> JK. Hey, welcome JK. to the show, bud. <laughs> oh man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Of the past this is good. New Year's resolution is going to be ten times meaner to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I have to destroy one person's yeah. dreams every day. <laughs> That is true hindsight. <laughs> oh, oh my. I remember, I'm hindsight. If you haven't read 10 minutes a day, what are you now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any like favorite things you watched over the break? Um, Not really. Nice. Wow. Um, I'm super disappointed with the Orisuki ending. Uh, what was that one again? That was the bench, the bench one. one. Oh, no. The harem anime the, comedy. Yeah. With the that was absurdity where, bench. Yeah. Um, you know everything you need to know. Yeah, you, oh, that's I, all you need to know. I know Chris. all those words, but I don't know how they all <laughs> work, together. work together. That's how Cole explains works in my head. I know all these words. Just say them. And what was? Oh, why did it let you down? Um, it did one of those endings where it's like the fight will continue, uh, where it's like um, they have a big rivalry going between the two, like the main character and like the main character's best friend and the main character's new friend, and they're both all going after the same girl, and uh, it like it the last. Part is like, oh, hey, let's have a challenge. Um, everyone here gets a vote. They get to pick who we'll be together with, who we who gets to be with her. Just like how love works. Yeah. On The Bachelor. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. In parentheses. You see why I like anime. Oh, that I like sense. The Bachelor and I like anime. Uh, and flirty dancing. That show's great. It's The Bachelor um, basically nice. just like anime, but like. Hell yeah. Okay. It, and then it's wrestling is anime. all that meets. Wrestling is The Bachelor and anime together. Um. Wow. So Cole explains for another time. But yeah. anyways. <laughs> That's pretty good. Th- it ends with like, okay, let's have this challenge. All right, it might not be as easy as you think. Season's done. Oh. oh. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a bit and of a And then, like, down. at the end, it's like, there'll be, like, don't worry, there's still more story left. But it's like, oh, but this is not, this is the 100% the kind of show that's like, hey, there's light novels, you idiots. Mm. Go read. And then you'll get smarter. Yeah, yeah. but, but yeah. that's problem is that light novels still haven't broken into mainstream over here yet. Right. Oh, okay. So they're, they're pretty, not, pretty commonplace over there, right? Oh, I mean, yeah, because like, that's the, the number one thing to do everywhere. on a train. Because yeah. if you're playing a Game Boy, if you're playing something that's loud and can be kind of obnoxious, you can just have your tiny little book. You're not hurting anyone. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> Except for trees. That's true. That's wow. Valid. But they know what they did. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? Yeah. They know what they did. <laughs> that's where we're getting a whole bunch of new trees now. Are we? Yeah, Mr. Beast is. 
What is Mr. Beast? Oh, he's a YouTuber. Oh, okay. Oh. He just oh, that's right. He's I Team Trees. Why are they going to plant a million trees? Oh, that's, oh, that's cool. One. Yeah. Lord saying, knows we do need them. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Beast sounds right. like an anime. I feel like it should have been. Miles is Foresight. That's right. Yeah. yeah. What's in the future, Miles? Nothing good, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good. You are one. Hey, present sight. Have you seen Australia? <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of, yeah, speaking of future, mm-hmm. um, I don't know how to get into this because I don't want to be too negative. We talked about it like like yesterday. Yeah. I was like, um, I might be excited for. I'm excited to be surprised. That one. Because this entering... next season of anime, mm-hmm. Winter 2020, mm-hmm. Winter 2020, looks to be pretty bleak. I'm gonna say I'm gonna come I'm gonna come in from the optimist angle here. Seeing as 2020 is the year of hindsight, I think in hindsight we're gonna look back on Winter 2020 and go, you know what? That that little gem surprised us. I actually I, I was I thought you were gonna say I'm gonna look back to the anime from last year, which were <laughs> superior, <laughs> and say we're gonna watch all these again because well, I'm ready for Carol on Tuesday. Spring 2020 is gonna be baller. Oh, that's so. Fair, yeah. Okay, how about we do this? How about we talk about winter 2020? We'll get through winter 2020, yeah. and then the cherry on top, the carrot at the end of this stick, we can talk about what's so baller in spring 2020. Drudge so I it. have one for winter 2020. Mm-hmm. Go for it. It's the season of Haikyuu, everyone. Oh, I saw that. Yep. That show's still going. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. It's like always the highest rated. Okay. Oh, it's, oh, my God. People love it. Oh, yeah. Isa, what, is still what season? What season? This is season four. Oh, okay. There's That's like another, there's a couple of OVAs up in the lineup, too. So I have a general idea of what Haikyuu is, but please explain what is Isa, what is Haikyuu. Take us to ask. I know, Isa I'm is like ready for this. Past the, Isa's first appearance on fan service was her explaining Haikyuu. Oh wow! It's time. It's time for like what a rewatch. Hindsight. Hindsight. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Isa is the past. Bring it back, Isa. We're so on brand today. Explain so to the present. Today. <gasps> what Haikyuu? We are so on brand. <laughs> I love this. Tell me. <laughs> Miles. What is time? <laughs> what is time? <laughs> Haikyuu is um, the titular sports yeah. anime about volleyball. Okay. It's oh, about I volleyball. It was the one. That's no, free. That's, that's free. free. See, I got those two mixed up in my head, but I knew one was all the dudes and one was all the ladies. They're all no, dudes. They're all no, they're all dudes. dudes. This one, oh. this one is. Oh, that's the swimming one. I'm thinking about the Kejo? one. Kajo. I think Kajo. That's the one. The yeah, sexy that's, ladies that's on the, the best the... sports anime. Oh. <laughs> <Your face. Yep. laughs> So what are you excited about in the season of Haikyuu? Uh, well, the, the more the, the fact that there's more. I think sure. uh, there used it's production IG, and there used to be one like every year, every two years, and then last year there was a bit of a hiatus. I don't know if there's necess- I think there was more manga, but they had taken a break um, because to me, at the end of season three, it felt like a really good ending of mm. like it's okay if the fight continues or it's okay to read more of the manga, but they're at a good place where kind of spoilers they won something okay and it felt really victorious mm-hmm. and it was like okay that's a good place to end it at so i didn't know if there was going to be a season four there's a season four well, now oh. i'm my my guess because i i trust i lean on you from a haiku knowledge oh. uh maybe they're defending now <gasps> like maybe they oh, they're chance. the winners and so now they're they're having to defend against the next team that's what they used to be Ooh. interesting like we'll they're the team that everyone's like oh you're the <laughs> senpai like we gotta <laughs> We gotta notice us. So yeah. Haikyuu is one of the more popular sports anime nowadays, and the reason why a lot of people like Haikyuu is um, it is one of the most natural and genuine sports anime out there. So there's a lot of sports anime, like if you think of Prince of Tennis or Kuroko no Basket, um, Kuroko's Basketball. Mm. Um, there's a lot of sports anime that kind of leans on the idea of like these people are like geniuses or they're really Super special prodigies. Mm. prodigies. Um, okay. They do things that are kind of superhuman. Like the it doesn't, one hero to rule them all. Kind of yeah, thing. and at at, at some time you're in it for the fantasy, um, and just kind of like, oh wow, that was pretty mm-hmm. neat, pretty interesting. High Q is so natural. Like, um, for one, there are some crazy color hairstyles, but you're not going to come across a character with green hair, yeah, or like, okay. bright blue hair. It's a very organic looking anime, mm-hmm. full of nat- full of like. Normal looking people, funny enough. Just a bunch of normies. Okay. Yeah, just a bunch of normies. But well, it's more about the teamwork and the teams that are involved and how it's about like them working together. That's and when you're like saying that. normal, even to the point of a lot of the stuff early on is size. Like the main character's short. Yeah. Oh. And so it's how does he overcome that obstacle in his life, especially cool. when he's on team with people who are tall, mm-hmm. making them naturally That's cool. have a more have an advantage. advantage. Yeah, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm so accustomed to anime being a little bit more on the fantastical side, right? And so I kind of, I forget that they do make, I mean, of course, we talked about, like, last time we talked about Sweetness and, and Lightning, which yeah. is very much a real 
a real grounded show, very real grounded. Emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so this sounds kind of, I don't want to say in the same vein, but kind of on the same plane of like, hey, this is just those real people doing real shit. Yeah. I, 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 oh, go ahead. It also has the same composer as all of my hero music. Oh, so cool. it's it's that like you get pumped up like yeah they Hell can yeah. do it. <laughs> Hell yeah! That was I remember when I started watching Carol on Tuesday. Oh yeah, I was expecting something a little more like grounded and realistic. And the thing that took me out of it was like they just seemed naturally gifted and kept getting lucky breaks. Yeah, and I was expecting it. something more like um, Beck Mongolian Chop Squad. Yeah, which like is a show about a, a some teenagers, it, and it's still like there's still like sure this band of teenagers comes together and becomes like one of the greatest rock bands in Japan. Like there's some suspension of disbelief that needs to go on there, but cool. there's several episodes of just like the kid learning how to play the basics of up and down the scale and like practicing for years. And then there's like at their first gig, the amp blows out. And so what looks like it's, Oh, we're going to perform. There's an agent in the audience or, or a talent scout. Yeah. And like, Nope, you got screwed because I, your amp broke. Hi, you is more like back then. Ooh, Cause it's yeah. like, it starts off, He's like not used to playing with a team because he's used to, oh, if I'm going to get good, I have to practice by myself. Hmm. And so he has a lot of stuff where, like, right? He's like Interesting. from a school where he was super passionate about volleyball, but everyone around him was a little less so. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, no, we got to do it. We got to be the champions. We got to, and like everyone else is like, oh, when we get to high school, we're going to drop this anyway. So, yeah. which is st- strangely the same plot as uh, Sound Euphonium. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Except with band. Yeah. Huh. The character um, animation. Um, the last thing I'll say about Haikyuu is that there are, like, the idea of geniuses or prodigies, they're, they are there, but I think what's so unique about the way that they portray them is actually that they still rely on other people. Ooh. So in a lot of other team sports animes, it's always the prodigies are always kind of by themselves, but this one, the enti- their entire persona or their entire, the reason why they are successful is partly them, but partly because of the team that supports them. Cool. You you know sports, sort of. Yeah. It, would it be fair to say that the team in Haikyuu is kind of like, at their peak, the San Antonio Spurs, oh, and wow. not just whatever team Kobe Bryant plays for, where they're like, give the ball to Kobe. Did oh, I nice. do a good sports analogy? Was that a good sports? Uh, a little bit. Right, yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll take what uh, I'm I'll take what Kobe... I get. Kobe okay. was really good, but the Lakers were also really good when Kobe was on oh, the Lakers. That's true. He did play for the Lake it, team. It yeah. was more so like when LeBron was on the... Uh, Cavaliers. LeBron, can I tell you something? LeBron James. I, w- <laughs> I was, my mouth said Kobe Bryant. I was thinking of LeBron James. LeBron yes. James. Oh, okay, so yes, yes. You, you, you were wrong then. But then yeah, also, I was. But then also, <laughs> making an analogy. Said, <laughs> sticking to that, sticking to that 2020 revolution. But even resolution. then, it also depends. Clearly, we're getting, Miles we're hasn't been reading. Too far into sports, but even then, it depends when, if LeBron was on the heat, he had, oh, okay. it was the big three. Like they yeah, had him and Wade and, uh, him and Wade. Right. And, uh, uh, one piece. Fox. Um, <laughs> And then there was, uh, what was it? Bleach. We get it. You know anime, Miles. <laughs> it's, it's so funny because I'm over here Miles sitting the here. anime man. <laughs> I'm over here like thinking about like, I was about to ask like how you would liken it to, and I, I don't know if people consider this trash anime, Food Wars were like, that's a little oh. nice. like precious anime. It, Food Wars is much more fantastical. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. And everyone yeah. in Food Wars is that is that genius. Like the, yeah. oh, I'm the genius of smoked meat. I'm the genius of spice. Yeah, they're I'm the, the yeah. special, they have specialized ones. Uh, if I could, there's uh, the other thing I'm excited for that's supposed to come out this season, although it's not on TV, but it's airing in Japan movie-wise, Shirobako mm. movie. <gasps> it's coming out this season. Oh, I forgot all about that. Yeah. Winter 2020. Bitch. Winter 20. Ooh, I would so, very much like to see that. I, yeah, I hope so it gets yeah, localized here. Thank you. Let's focus on the positives. Let's yeah. <laughs> say what you're excited about this season. <laughs> I'll say what I'm excited about and, and follow be- it up with what's so disappointing. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I was about to say, we oh. can also knock you down a peg and then say <laughs> which shows are on Netflix. Spoiler alert. Yeah, so I got very excited by the track, uh, the, tra- the trailer, uh, the trailer for Drifting Dragons. Also yeah. known mm. as Shute Dragons? Or Kute Dragons. Kute. Cutie Dragons. Oh, that sounds wholesome. But it's, uh, I'll watch that. It, it's, it's, it's being done by Polygon, uh, which mm. I'm now at the point, thanks to years of fan service, where when I went to my anime list to like see like what was going to rustle my jimmies, I was like, you know what? I'm going to look by studios that I think are cool. And I found Polygon, and sure enough, this looks awesome. It's 3D animated, going for the 2D style. Cool. Nice. It is. It essentially looks like a Fire Emblem cutscene, but I dig that shit a lot. Um, cool. And uh, there's... Airships, it's serious, like some sort of like alt history. I don't know if I'd call it steampunk, but like, you know, kind of dumbed down future tech. 
Uh, mm-hmm. And like people go and hunt dragons that don't look like dragons. They look like Lovecraftian nightmares. Cool. Um, it seems wild. really cool. It looks like it's going for like a, a kind of fun ensemble cast from what I was able to gather from the trailer. Nice. Uh, like I said, you can find it on my anime. What, um, what else did Polygon do? Polygon did uh, Knights of Sidonia. They did uh, the other uh, one. Um, Ajin. Ajin. The Godzilla one. Cool. Yeah. That's what I know them Godzilla from. Which, anime. Though I didn't enjoy the story, I did like the way that it looked. Yeah. They're, they were kind of like really pushing forward 3D anime. Okay. Whenever, uh, a while. Like well, Knights, Knights of Sidonia, you know, um, I guess Ruby notwithstanding, was the first time I'd ever really seen like 3D, 3D in mm-hmm. like that style of, I mean, of anime, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And so I was like really taken aback by it because it was weird. At yeah, first, yeah, it took I me think, a little bit of time to get used to, but I, I enjoyed it. It was a really wild story. It was like Attack on Titan in space. Mm. It's kind of what I got from that. <laughs> Obviously, from Ruby, I'm much more open to the 3D anime style, but I also think a ton of it's from playing video games. Mm. Oh, like true. I just look at that and I'm like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, hell yeah, for like, sure. Game cutscenes are tight. Yeah, Let's go for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, my I, I feel like one of the first ones. Uh, Oh, what was one of the first ones? Beautiful Joe, I feel like. I oh, my God. A 3D awesome. kind of like anime. Um, and video you, wait, did they make an anime of Beautiful no, Joe? No, but it's just oh. kind of like a style. Oh, right. Stylistic. Do you know <laughs> what, can you give plot any? If I recall, because I, I, I just read like the blurb that was on the website yeah. and I looked at the trailer. Excuse me. But it seems, from what I, from what I remember, it was uh, these essentially airships will go around and try and hunt down dragons either because they're like, Monsters wrecking shit, or because like they can harvest uh, kind of like monster hunter. It, style. Okay, there's, there's something like in here that it's like uh, there is hunting dragons because they're dangerous, but it's also because they have oil, right? Like whales. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, I got I got hardcore monster hunter, monster hunter, but with airships was the vibe that I got from this thing. Because oh. I, I was telling my friend, well, I was telling my friends that you were like mm. super excited about it, and he was like. I don't like hurting dragons. Like he's like dragons are sacred. You don't attack. What, a is dragon. he a witcher? And so I, I was did then you, like, did he see what the dragons look like in this show? No. But then I was going to ask: Is there, from what you can tell, is there any like chance that oh, there's good dragons, or is they all bad dragons? I don't know. Typically in shows where I feel like the narrative is we are harvesting these creatures for humanity, typically there tends to be some sort of storyline about like you know not over harvesting or like you know respecting the balance of nature misunderstanding yeah. that tends okay. to be a common theme in shows like that yeah. i have no idea again with the way that the the dragons are designed they look fucking horrifying they it's look like, like giant alien bug monster things sure. um but don't judge a dragon yeah, by could, its cover it could kind of give me like yeah. mononoke vibes where ooh yeah like yeah, the yeah, humans yeah. are creating this problem so they can then take the stuff from the dragons. Like maybe they're doing something to upset the dragons. Too. Yeah, I would. I would not be surprised. No. But also, like, uh, could disappointed. Just be a I think that's a totally fine like, dragon story. killing power fantasy. Like, yeah, it, it could be that. It could be that. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I I like all the character designs. Uh, there seem to be some like really playful, and then of course like the cool badass guy. Like there's some dude with like a um, harpoon gun that like does some sick moves. And yeah, I don't know. I, I hope it'll be good. Uh, I don't know if you heard. There's going to be a short form. Uh, Laid back camp. <gasps> I like need to finish five minute season. episodes. There's another laid back camp's coming back later, but excellent. excellent. What, what's that? Laid back camp is in there's a there's a trend now that there's instructional anime where it's like, here's how you can go to the gym. Like here's the oh. different stuff you can do at the gym. In a way, Dr. Stone is <laughs> Dr. A little, though a little more Dr. Stone mm. and Food Wars lead a little more into okay. the fantasy shonen. Okay. Um Laid Back Camp or uh Yuru Yuru Camp was just here's how you go camping. Like these girls at school form a camping club. Um, how true to form is it? Very, very. It's extraordinarily it very accurate. like, oh, if you're going to do this, accurate. you're going to want to bring this kind of tent. If you're going to be mm-hmm. in this area, you want to bring this kind of tent. Cool. Yeah. Um, what? No, it's, it's wonderful. What, what's, what's the deal with that whole, like, instructional anime? Like, is that... I think it's almost interactive that you can... W- it's also probably funded by... Um, merch. Merch, like, but also government. Like, it can be like, hey, we want to increase park visiting. Yeah. We can help fund this anime. We want to increase. Um, Curious. Gyms can go. We want to increase gym membership. Yeah, we'll give you like, uh, what's it called? Um, how heavy are the dumbbells you lift? Was this mm. anime and manga series? <laughs> there is gonna one day there will be a um, an anime about the joys of having a child. Hell yeah, it probably is. All, yeah, yeah. Like um, but mm. it was like in in it they're they're always going to uh, what is it, like Silver's Gym. Instead oh, of Gold's Gym. I see. <laughs> oh, <that's funny. laughs> I see. From a con- com- from a consumer point of view, I think what's interesting, and I know this is more of a trend um, in the East than it is in the West, when it comes <coughs> to like these slice of life, slower paced, like yeah. animated stories. 
Um, I rewatched Won't You Be My Neighbor over the break, oh. and there's something really interesting mm. about how they talk about uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood kind of did everything you shouldn't do for children's television. Like, it was cheap sets. He There was lots of silence in a lot of his shows. Like, he would just have a segment where it's like, we're going to watch a turtle. And he watched the turtle for like 60 seconds. Mm-hmm. And all other children's programming is very loud, very colorful, very, very colorful. animated. Mm-hmm. And I think by having something that is in such far contrast to everything else, mm-hmm. stands out more. I think it stands out more. And I think, yeah. again, I, as a Western consumer, well, I would most say, people think anime is your Dragon Ball Z, your One Piece, very yeah. loud, big stuff. Yeah. Well, um, some of these shows are like uh, the Dumbbell Show is still very sure, like, sure. muscle, like dudes ripping their clothes off with muscles. But I think um, for laid back camp in particular and a few other shows kind of like it. I think there's something I there would also, in that difference from everything else being presented. I would also cool. posit that um YouTube has kind of skewed in that mm. interactivity way. Like, I mean, I don't know how many times I've just gotten uh down the rabbit hole on watching there's this awesome channel about like this girl just gardening. Like she'd go out and garden, pick it up, come back to her house, cook it. There's a. I will watch hours of Japanese bartenders making cocktails. Yeah. You're oh, that sounds so, you're so, like, so good. Wow. It's a little ASMR. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. Uh, I mean, we all know your take on ASMR. It's great. It's relaxing. Helps you calm down. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> but there is bad news about Drifting Dragons. Oh. And I was informed of the moment I arrived on set today. <laughs> uh, what's that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Netflix has got it. So I won't be able to watch that till, what was it, June? Probably. Tight, it, tight, tight, they don't, tight, tight, they don't tight, say tight, it's tight, tight, probably when the first season's done and they have enough time to dub. Yeah. You know, yeah. you and I, and you and I were talking about this the other day because we're talking about Terrace House. And yeah. like, it's so curious why certain shows aren't simulcasted here. It really is. Mm. I mean, it, that's Netflix's, they are the. Netflix is a, North Amer- uh, American, mo- not yes. North American, but specifically American model. Because even then they do simulcasting in Canada. Yes. Mm. And they, they, they'll even try out simulcasting every once in a while. On a lot of Korean dramas. Korean dramas. I remember I, I used to watch the show Greek, the ABC Family Show. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it was week to week. Like, it would have mm-hmm. episodes every week. But, I mean, I've talked to other people, like some of my friends around town who, like, like anime but don't, aren't, like, I need to watch week to week. They're like, oh, it's perfect. I just get to watch all of it at once. Mm. And then it's for the more accessible. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. say casual because that, like, it seems to be it's, it's, it's just yeah. It's definitely one of those things that you see. In my opinion, you see a lot of piracy, right? From yeah. that, from us, from like our group, from of fandom. Yeah, because the people who don't have access to the thing, like like Terrace House is is episodes ahead, right? Yeah. Um, and and there are people already on Reddit talking about these next few episodes, and I'm like, I want that. I want I want that one. I want to see that, and I can't because we don't have that unless we do like. A VPN, thing. VPN, and all that other, you know, torrenting or whatever. Illegal, mm-hmm. and I mean, I'm not. I want. I don't want to do that. I want to support these shows, but yeah. um, it does beg the question of like, it just seems like an untapped market. Mm. So mm. I'm sorry that your show isn't coming ah, out until June. It is what it is. So sure is something else. Well, one of yours isn't. Coming I out know. Yeah. That's why I said I'm sorry. I was hoping for What's a yours? return. Sadness. <laughs> Dor- Doro, Doro Hedoro. Doro Hedoro. It, it looks so cool. What? What is? Give it? Give me the rundown, Cole. A uh, hole, a dark, decrepit, and disorderly district w- where the strong prey on the weak and death is an ordinary occurrence. Neat. Is all but befitting of the name it, given to it, hole. A realm separated from laws and ethics, it is testing the ground to, it is a testing ground of magic, u- magic users who dominate it a ra- as a race occupying the highest rungs of the so- their society. The magic users think of the denizens of hole as nothing more than insects. Okay, it's a and very that's thirty long, seconds of your reading for today. Yeah, so. but Check it's like off. it's like this really like so it says here set in a gritty world of hellish design. Like the thing that really drew like got my attention was just the like the front cover here, the art style. Main character, some like lizard dude. Oh. He's like this really wild looking oh, yeah. lizard dude. Aaron Zek, one of our uh, old cast members and thumbnail artist. Oh, she, no, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Wynn. Aaron Wynn. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, Aaron wait a Wynn. second. No, Aaron Zek's Ruby. Aaron <laughs> Wynn. <laughs> Is super excited about this show. Yeah. It looks really, really cool. Definitely check out this uh, this thumbnail online if you can. It has we'll a probably interesting have it pop up in the lower third. There's a interesting like I don't know what the term is. All the colors are very like dark and dingy and but it's still colorful though. There's purples and greens and blues and yellows, but the whole thing feels like dirty. It reminds me of the '90s TMNT like oh mm-hmm. yeah cartoon. Maybe that's why I'm like so yeah. drawn to it. <laughs> I was oh, massively nice. a fan. <laughs> So, but also that, and then there was another one that that caught my eye. Darwin's game. Darwin's game, and and maybe I misunderstood the premise of it. But as soon as you started, give me the uh, give me the rundown. 
It almost gave me the vibe of like the Nonary games oh. to a degree. The what games? The Nonary, Nonary games. The um, 999. 999. Um, Zero oh. Escape. Yeah. Okay. Uh, effectively, okay. it's like think Saw. Yeah. In that regard, this is like <laughs> yeah. overselling. With Darwin's game, it's like they download an app. They're like, oh, I'm gonna download the new game. It's an app, and then whenever they download it, they're told you have to go fight this other person. I, think I heard about this. Like fight to the death. It sounds super interesting. <laughs> it's like someone looked at Pokemon Go. Like, <laughs> you know what? Close, but <laughs> what if humans? Close, but what if murder? Yeah, what if murder? Hmm. I mean, yeah. Pokemon Go things did get a little dicey at a, at a time there. Yeah, yeah, and at the same time, we're we're the closest to world peace we ever could get. That was as close as we, again. Pokemon Go got us close. <laughs> yeah, what about Baby Yoda? <laughs> Baby Yoda was pretty good too. I don't know. Baby, I'd still, I'd Baby still Yoda still is. They should have landed at the same time. I think that's how we would have made it happen. Baby Yoda, go! <laughs> 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 Got to run around and catch Baby Yodas. <laughs> Just a bunch of Jesus them. Christ! It's all the same. Just he had a shiny. Is, so is Darwin's? Sure, are both not. of these coming out later? So Darwin's is not, but Darwin's. Doro Hidoro is like Netflix. So it's gonna okay. be later. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Where's? It looks like Darwin's game is gonna be. Where is it? I just saw it too. It's Aniplex of America has mm-hmm. the license. Oh, cool. Aniplex. So, yeah. probably be on Funimation. Cool. Because they're both Sony now. Mm. Um, There's a couple other, like, neat-looking ones you yeah, and I were I talking about. <laughs> Cole and I are looking at the list, and under Aniplex, there's also Fate Grand Order, so both of us were like, hey. Well, the continuation oh. of uh, the Grand Order that's airing right now, but they also have an OVA. Is that what you're most excited about? No. No. I, I knew the answer. It was no. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I'm very excited about it, but that's also just like I compartmentalize it. That's my like sure. Just, just that's my, your th- yeah. That's your my, thing. Uh, like the thing you'll always say yes to. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> it's when you I, bring up this uh, this uh, what's the word this example so often. We know Breath of the Wild is going to be game of right, the year, but yeah. what are the other? Games? Right, right. <laughs> that's oh, cold to fate. <laughs> side note, by the way, me and my buddies try to like do our favorite games of each year over the oh, over the dude. break. Good 2017 luck. went so hard. Sorry, this is not a video game podcast, but just like if you play games, just look at all the things that came out in 2017 and then look at yourself in the mirror and say you didn't deserve any of that because <laughs> holy shit, it was amazing. All right, back to what Cole's excited okay, about. The, the, I can go about this two ways, all right? Okay. Two way Cole. So I've been noticing, and we'll see we'll see how you guys feel about it. Okay. I've been noticing there's been a big lack of Cole Explains oh. since fan service has come back. You know what's funny is that was my favorite segment. Well, next to... Next to Stan's shower thoughts, yeah, but you know we won't, we won't go there. So, I have a show planned for Cole's explains oh, this next season. A full hour of Cole explains. Cool. Um, uh, no, it's Cole. Shut up. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> because this show lined up too perfectly. Oh. Then there's a show that I think is going to be really good, and I w- genuinely want everyone to watch. Okay, tell me the one that you think is going to be really good, and then tell me the one that you're going to talk so, to us about over the uh, next few months. So I can, so I can tune out. Yeah, <laughs> just like, I can just strap in, put like I, a wooden thing I'm going to butcher it if I try to say just the full Japanese name, open. just reading it offhand. Um, hands off the Motion Picture Club. Cool. Okay. Oh, um, is that the Aizoken? Yeah. Yes! Aizoken. I'm so excited I, for that. I don't know anything about this. The art style is so It is cool. just like these kids want to create an anime, but they do it more so, It's like a... More abstract, Shiro Bako. Oh. I mean, it's not like it's 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 more so the store uh, abstract version of the beginning of Shiro Bako. You remember when they're all yes. in the club and they're trying Donut to make club. yeah yeah. <laughs> it's like they're drawing and then they're like entering the world of the drawing and interacting with the oh, things they drew. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Very it also has <laughs> very. <laughs> what the fuck? It also oh has God. very interesting like what a reference. Look, like, I watched a lot of animation oh. in my day. It's they, not all anime. They did not like. They weren't afraid to go really like. I'll pull it up so you can see it. Oh. What a big critique I see with anime a lot is everyone's looks face looks the same. the same. Yeah, these characters look wildly so different. different. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can pull up a a picture for you to see, Miles. Someone someone had made a comment that I thought was really neat, in that one of the main uh, female characters, she's got like just like, well, here I'll just bring it up so you can see it. Yeah, she's yeah. just got like these interesting like facial expressions. And people were like, yeah, like this is my energy. People were talking about how like oh. it's it's fresh huh. to see a, a female character drawn so differently than yeah. what we normally see. Oh yeah, yeah. That, Which that, is really, that's really like cool. that troll energy. I love troll, troll energy. energy. Yeah, I, I love, love that. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we settle down, you two. It's not we, the hentai episode yet. We jinxed. Oh hey, oh hey. Okay, oh. so so that's the one that you think's gonna be really good. Yeah. 
Yeah, tell it, me, it looks so cool. Tell me your your, okay, your so, nasty desires. Um, one of our old guests, what? Caden, I believe it's gonna be nasty. She had tipped me off to this in the past. Uh-oh. Okay, and so I started reading the manga. Mm-hmm. There's an ep- there's a show calling called Ish- Ishizoku Reviewers. Ishizoku Reviewers. What does what does Ishizoku Reviewers mean? Um, it's a, it's the same thing. It's, it's the same. Okay. So, what is Ishizoku? Oh, I just saw what's the what's an app that exists today? You know, it helps you kind of figure out what restaurants are good. Yep. Help. Yelp. Yeah, and like, Uh-oh. you know, oh my god, what's Uh-oh. the world's oldest profession? Uh, Prostitution. Gathering? Prostitution. Yeah. Oh, uh, what? So, like, how are you gonna tell what? But here's the other thing: you I live in a monster you guys, world. You guys didn't know that. It's because I read. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, get, get I thought, I'm sorry. I thought all of my uh, co- uh, co-workers were... In t- okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> self-burn. Get yeah. self-burn, yeah. Cole. Yeah, yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> um, hey, you only started reading yesterday. But that's what I'm yesterday. trying to read now. I'm trying to get yeah, smart. You're getting yeah. smart. Um, so yeah, this is a show about uh, a group of oh my God. adventurers reviewing brothels. Can we in a in a land where it's like oh this is the elf brothel this is the uh, mermaid brothel this is like this now your adventurers aren't all human so that's the thing about it as well you have standard human I know I said they weren't all but one is sure the next one Token is an elf Token. Token. cool so what's what's something about elves like what's the years pointy years but how long do they live long forever time. forever and ever yeah so, so he's gonna have some different tastes huh yeah. Press- there's Continue. also a fallen angel <laughs> what, what, who just falls what, down and he's what? and he's like, I don't know what to do. And they always have a guest spot for every brothel they go to. Okay, okay, okay. So okay, what you're saying okay, is we're going to okay. change the format of fan service. I was okay. <laughs> but, so what they have done is they've made an point anime <laughs> podcast of the past about getting that nut. Let me just say for one. But I think it's absolutely fucking hilarious that you keep calling them a group of adventurers. That's what they are. No, They're I, adventurers. I get it. Who I just, like, it's just so funny thinking about how me and my pals are going to go downtown as a group of adventurers to rate some brothels. No, well, they're no, adventurers first and foremost. Thing. It's their side, their side thing. thing. But like, as they're adventuring, they're going to be stopping it, off in town. It's comedians driving in cars, whatever the fucking James show Carter's is. Drinking coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah comedians drinking. Comedians, comedians playing are, badminton, well, whatever that show is called. <laughs> you know, <laughs> by day they comede, <laughs> but by night <laughs> they, they talk about, about how that. they comede. I, the I got an eyeful. Oh boy, I'm trying to open up. Is an eyeful of an asshole? What about oh a my! Oh my! That's oh, lot. they're all ladies. It's a lot of. Sh- no, that's, that's a lot of that's shiny. Oh, never mind. The, those are the okay. ladies of the brothels. Oh, yeah, okay. they look like but they're so, like, lady of in no the first, brothel. Like in the first manga, it's like the the um humans like, oh yeah, I want to get like that hot hot elf over there, and the oh, elf my. kid's like, yeah, but she's like three hundred years old. I'm gonna go for that fifty eight year old woman and like human woman, and like the human woman's like not traditionally attractive, but I he's see. like, yeah, but she's fifty eight. Yeah. Like, when am I going to get sleep with a 58-year-old? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. I'm... That's a very shiny thumbnail. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you tried to hold that thumbnail, it would slip out of between your fingers. Oh, then you should, no. like, wash. Oh, no. So, it's better than a sticky thumbnail, Lisa. Uh, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. So, that's... No. That's that. That's that. Oh, that's that. No. Much like the last time we did this, I think we should mention a couple other shows. I'll, Runners I'll, up. I'll mention one in traditional Miles fashion that I'm excited to watch that came out mm, like five years ago. Oh, oh Bacchano. Bacchano. Uh, Not oh, yeah. five years ago. Try ten years ago. Yeah. Uh, 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 Miles up ten years late to the party uh, now. Like I didn't read. I don't read. I'm so <laughs> dumb. I didn't know about Bacchano. <laughs> you knew I about Bacchano. <laughs> I guess we talked about it at the beginning of fan service. Yeah, but I like don't listen either. <laughs> I said, <laughs> oh, everyone come over oh, to my house and we'll so watch Miles. Bacchano. And no one came over, oh, so, so I watched it by You're myself. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that was my original thing, the dumb one. Yeah, so <laughs> that was my brand. And then my parents were like, "Have some self-respect." So and I was like, "No." Oh. <laughs> other other shows that need mentioning: um, a new season of a scientific railgun. A certain scientific oh, railgun. Oh, I saw that. That looked cool. Yeah, that's uh, like titles. third season. <laughs> That's like the certain magical index and certain scientific railgun. Uh, when you said real, I totally thought of something else. Uh, You're like Isa, what? Isa, what on earth? <laughs> yeah, what? What? I don't what? like a like What's a another? shower, like a shower rail, like a 
What's another kind of railgun, Issa? Some sort of like. I'm, does I'm, it lay train hey, tracks? All right, it's getting. I'm new this to anime. This isn't episode yet. Oh. We're getting a little horny in here. All right, I just don't let's settle down. And what on earth? I can't, I can't help. There's a new Madoka series. However, oh, it's not it? Ur- Urubuchi. Okay. It's based off the mobile game. Uh, so okay. I'm interested. I'm it's curious. Sh- it's Shaft still. So I'm. When he said Shaft, right? Railgun. What I thought was. <laughs> One of the better ideas of a show that has been made, uh, Isekai Quartet. Isa? Oh, that's great. Uh, oh, they have the second Isa? season. Isa. You? That's where it's um, Subaru, <laughs> uh, Kazuma, the guy from Overlord, mm. Tanya the Evil. They all oh, get transported to. She's in that. Yeah, they're now adding the Shield Hero this next season. Oh, cool. It's com- It's all comedy. It's, it's all like slapstick. Over, yeah. really it's very fun. That. Fun. There's too many things. Um, um, let's see. Somali to Mori. That looks also looks interesting. interesting. Tell me, tell me with your words. I don't have words to tell you. I just see the pictures. It looks and like, they're so cool looking. Like it's just, it's, it's just like weird. A, I'm a it looks really, really weird. cool it's looking. A, it shit. looks like a supernatural. There, it's the English name is Somali and the Four Spirit. So it's fantasy. It's like, fantasy. I, I say supernatural, but I, it involves gods. Hmm. Um, the title is Kami has Kami Sal on it. So hmm. some kind of. Don't worry, everybody. I'll watch the trash anime so you don't have to. I don't think it's going to be trash. <laughs> yeah. I, what are you talking about? I'm watching the show about yeah, monster fucking. That's true. <laughs> so. Hey, this isn't the hentai episode, Cole. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Future when are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not far enough away. <laughs> oh, boy. The world is ruled by spirits, goblins, and all manners of strange creatures. Humans are persecuted. Oh, no. Oh, to the point of extinction. We deserve it. <laughs> One day, a golem and a lone human girl meet. She Aww. does not look human. Oh. Okay. Okay. The, this is a record. This is a record. Okay. Okay. So that's all the immediate stuff. You said that you're super excited about spring now. Oh, spring is gonna be like we're we're gonna let's non-stop. end on a high note. Is, is what, spring 2017 spring? for games? What is, what's spring for here? anime. We have ReZero coming back. We have oh, oh um, yeah a show that I I'll get to here in a second. Um, there's a really good like kind of high school drama show called uh my high school romantic comedy snafu. Cool. And it's just like, it's got really good characters in it. Okay. It's really good. Um, Kageyasama, that was the season one about two. season Kage two. Sama. That was the one with the two, um, the president, okay. vice president, they like each other, but they don't want to admit it to each other. So oh, they fight all the time right, 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 right. Yeah, about who's going to, yeah. Who's the gonna second season of, I actually want to go back and watch this show, The um, Ascend- Ascendance of a Bookworm. Hmm. We talked about it a little bit. It is an isekai. About, so, about Isa? No. Uh, it is an yes, isekai really about a girl who. She like she want all she wants to do is read books, but she gets reincarnated what? in a world where there are no books. So Wait, she needs did to be the you one to talk about this? Yeah. So That's some, like, Twilight hindsight, did you did you actually watch the first season yet? No, I want to go back and see it. Oh, okay, I heard it's really good. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that first fi- that first fifteen minutes is a fucking slog. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. that's kind of what because I I watch enough that I'll kind of be a slave to numbers. Like, if something has a really low rating to begin with, I'm like, uh, I might pass on that. Mm. Yeah. Um, this next one, Issa, you are going to love this. Okay. So this next one is, a, I'm paraphrasing <gasps> Wait, the title. I read this manga and they're making an anime of it? Yes. Oh my God. It is, um, <laughs> Cole knows his eyes. I am, uh, <laughs> I reincarnated. I reincarnated into an Otome game, which is that's the girl and all the boyfriends. It's a reverse harem. Yeah, okay. reverse harem. I reincarnated into an Otome game as the villainous with only destruction flags. Okay, so pitch. Okay, it's an isekai, but the girl, she, the way she died, she died the morning after she was about to finish her reverse harem video game. Only she's reincarnated as the antagonist right. of the game that mm-hmm. she was playing. So, yeah. And so she's going through in her mind, what is the, there's only two outcomes whenever I do any of these routes in the game. I either die or I'm exiled. So what's the best route for me so yeah. I either don't die or I'm not exiled? Interesting. So she's the antagonist. Oh man, guys. <laughs> oh my but it's God. her. It's, it's her. so, so good. So she, yeah, it's. I just read the manga recently. I'm like, this is so good. It's this so, is good. so good. The, the awesome. light novels. Are, are I'm right excited well. about this. There's actually two different versions of the manga. Oh, oh, one yeah. One is her reincarnated as a little girl, and essentially, as a child, she bumps her head, and that's when she gets all of her memories back of the mm-hmm. real world. Uh-huh. And it's like, oh, I have to change everything. Wait, 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 wait. 
they essentially did two completely different stories. Just yes. About- so they did what one where the she's reincarnated what? as a child. And when they finished that, they did one where it was she was reincarnated as an adult where she had already been mean to people. Oh, that's interesting. I, I read the first one. Yes, I, read, I did not I read, read the, the second well. one, but the first one, I think this is what the anime yes. is based off of, where she's reincarnated first as a child, and then she lives the rest of her life from childhood to when she Whoa. grows up. Oh my God, guys, it's so good. <laughs> <great. laughs> so I have a question. So how often do you find that when an anime is done based off of a manga, it's usually like... Well, one most one anime is. Most anime it? is based no, no, off... No, no, but like, like it's... It's done really, really well. Oh, it, I mean, mm. there are so many factors. Like, yeah. it, it's it's that I I feel like the true gems are always like kind of one out of five. Yeah, okay. you'll find because it. I mean, it depends. Is the manga done? Do they have all the source mm. material? Yeah, are how they, popular was the manga? Because was... then they'll they'll definitely throw more money yeah. at mm. the studio who where who is doing the most popular thing. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, is there ever a time where a manga is like not? Super popular, but the anime, like, was like superb. Mm, huh, that's a good question. I mean, I'm bound. There's bound to be stuff. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. If I would say it was bad, but immediate thought is Blood Blockade Battlefront uh. finished their manga, and Studio Bones, the guys who do My Hero, the guys who do mm. Full Metal Alchemist, they're kind of like outliers in the anime industry where they will go and sit because most of the time you'll see that anime are advertisements for manga mm-hmm. and light novels sure mm. so it's weird to see a manga series that's complete get an anime mm. which is why i was saying with like uh orisuki earlier it's like yeah but are they going to make another season of anime because anime is expensive and if they've already seen the increase in novel sales and it's do not licensed it's not internationally licensed so there is a cap on how many how many more sales you're going to see sure um but blood blockade battlefront they essentially, manga was done, blah, 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 like Battlefront anime came out, and they were like, oh, we need to make more manga. Oh, wow. So it brought back the manga to be made more, and they did oh, another wow. season and another, I think it's done now. That's interesting. But Cool. That's the only one I can really think off the top of my head. Yeah. With it hitting you with them curveballs. Yeah. That's an interesting thought, if only because I think a lot of what ends up happening is if the source material isn't good, mm. then, oh, I actually, I have one. Um, Otakoi. The, uh, the manga is much better than the anime. Mm-hmm. Well, you're saying the anime is better than the manga. Uh, I think, I mean, I, either or, I think. On the, on well, most the of the time, the manga, people oh, say yeah, the manga is better the manga, than the anime. That's right, that's right. But yeah, it's the equivalent of like, I was saying like a bad manga that they just made into an anime and it was like better? really good. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but I think on the inverse of that, though, it's curious when, when, mm-hmm. well, I guess you did say that it's like one in five, though, is usually like mm-hmm. when they do it really, I mean, really well. There's, yeah, I mean that's there's not a lot of anime that aren't that are original. Yeah, that's true. I think there. I could say one that I think I enjoyed watching the anime more than I re- enjoyed reading it, and that was that reverse harem one that I really liked, and I was like, oh, this anime is basically me, and that's what I. Kiss him not said. me. Kiss him not me. I remember oh your love yeah, for people <laughs> say that about Attack on Titan, but Attack on Titan manga did well. It did well. Yeah, I did. That that um, yeah, that's true. Attack on Titan anime, kiss him not me. That anime. first that first season of Attack on Titan made that story. There was much more of a zeitgeist surrounding it when yeah. that anime mm. premiered. Yeah, um, people say Fooly Cooly. Ooh, I don't know if anyone's read the Fooly Cooly. I'm not. I can't, man, full. I feel like the animation is so ingrained to the storytelling of that. It's a it's series. Yeah, that the music that I, I like can't. Play, that, that, yeah, no, I cannot imagine Fooly Cooly without music and animation. Yeah. Oh, and uh, if y'all have seen this other stuff, if you've read the manga and think it's better, let us know. Yeah, yeah. someone like, actually made a comment about our last episode about Akamega Kill being a very well done manga, like better than the anime. And now uh, it's got me see, like this. Uh, this oh, list right here says anime is better than manga. Curious. Fight <laughs> <laughs> to the death. Well, maybe we should all start reading and all get smarter. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I was manga doesn't count. <laughs> Wait a second. Hey, they, yes, it does. No, for reading purposes, it doesn't count. Why not? Because you're. Looking at pictures, you need to be reading. And Cole here is part of the old guard of no, because that's the point of reading is that you are like this. Like, if you're looking at the picture, you're imagining things. it, and that's expanding your. Isa, you're on my side. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. What graphic novels are? I uh, what's the word? Graphic novels I'm not are. Don't read a graphic novel. No, but wow. I think Gosh. I think people should take graphic novels more seriously. In yes. The world also, like some reading. pictures are hot, and that's my thing. But, Isa, you're smart. 
but you also nasty. <laughs> yeah, because I read. <laughs> um, a couple other, couple other mentions of summer or spring. Uh, the new Trigger Show, B and A. There's a manga Beast that, new, Beast, that yeah. That there's a manga that I've been Sorry. reading. Um, Gwepnir, different. <laughs> or Gwepnir, Gwepnir, which is like that sounds like a Futurama alien. <laughs> it's the manga is wild. It's okay. like boy one day wakes up, he, he's randomly able to change into a fursuit. And so... The, he, the, the chuckle yeah. from off stage was my reaction as well. <laughs> it is... Interesting. Dark. It is extremely dark. Oh, really? Like, yeah. He, so he's he a becomes suit. a first suit that someone else can put on and wear him around? Yeah. Oh, oh no. And that first suit has like a, a big gun on its hip. Oh. So, as all first suits uh, should. It's done by <laughs> this girl that he has no idea. She just tells him, like, oh, yeah, I did that to you because I talked to this alien who's trying to collect his other coins. Like He's like, oh, there's a bunch of coins on Earth. They're all aliens. They're all my my race. If you give me those coins, I'll, I can eventually help you cure this. So it's like this big, people are hunting. The, but he's already a first suit. He can. He, he's told he can be fixed. I'm, but, but what are they hunting? He can change back into okay. a human. They're hunting coins. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I think yeah. I'm putting the pieces together here. Wow, I am, but it's not making me feel in better. Order, in order to use your money, you have to shoot it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, they, they're shooting. They're not shooting the aliens. They're shooting other people who have the coins. Yeah, my so, coins. Okay. So okay. it's just about okay. wearing a first suit and stealing money from people. Yeah. yeah. For aliens. For aliens. Anime, you're, we don't deserve. I don't. You. We don't yeah, deserve you either. I never would have thought of anything like that as a premise. Well, cool, man. Yeah, it's pronounced Gleipnir. Gleipnir. Still mm -hmm. sounds like a... Yeah. I, either yeah, that or like a yeah. gen whatever Pokemon. I thought it was going to be like a weapon from like the Witcher or something. Gleipnir. Like yeah, the Gleipnir. But fuck. <laughs> That's that. Um, That's that. Yeah. We actually Future have interesting. a little bit of housekeeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hit it. Um, so, luckily, I think I'm good to say this, that we have <laughs> fan services scheduled throughout the year now. Ba -ba 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 so, and we also are taking steps to improve the um, efficiency of shooting the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what we want to do here. is bring back Anime Club. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. But we... We want to do it the right way, because Anime right. Club was always interesting. Because if you haven't seen the show, you like there's pressure to not watch an episode of fan service because you're yes. like, I don't want to get spoiled. Yes. I want to watch this with them. And sometimes members of the cast, just due to our schedules, we weren't able to watch the most recent episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it's like for 15 minutes, we're just gonna be like over here, la, 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 just la, la. thinking about and that like, I don't know. Yeah, like that's something I always see in other media that aggravates me when people are skirting around talking about something. Yeah. Sure. When it's like. We're gonna we're gonna talk about my hero, but then we're actually not gonna talk about my yeah. hero. We're just gonna say we're gonna talk about my hero, and then like infer little things. Cool things happen yeah. with that Deku kid. Deku. <laughs> so, with the ability, like, with some of the technology we're getting, what I want to do, mm -hmm. if you guys are with me, I am is I know what's happening. Introduce a Rooster Teeth first post show. Oh. Fan service finally getting a post show for RT.com. Oh, RT.com. Oh, snap. That's 15 minutes of us doing a book club. Yep. Cool. So, well, we've been trying to stick to a roughly 45 minute shooting schedule for the main episodes. With this, we'll go ahead and we'll take up a full hour of our time. But that last 15 minute bonus chunk, we for them thirsty firsties out there. Thirsty, thirsty firsties? firsties? I like that. Okay. And so, um, I, think, I think I like that. I actually think <laughs> this episode goes up now. next week. This should be the first episode we have an add on with our. What? our uh, People paying us to fan serve? Uh, yeah. Atsuko, I thank never you. thought I'd see the fucking day. Uh, Atsuko, um, hopefully this uh, isn't a surprise to the people because they've already seen the ad. <laughs> um, but uh, we might have to do a read this week. I might need help. Uh, okay. some people together. Well, make dumb um, stuff, so I don't I'm know if you out. knew this, but yeah. we don't. Uh, yeah, don't they read. don't read. Yeah, we can't read. So we literally, we can't. literally. Yeah, yeah they're they're, okay. they're dumb. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so dumb team. Go ahead and yeah. Um, we should have missed high five completely. It would have been great. I don't know how do we want to decide um, what our anime club topic is. Do we want to? Can we ask for suggestions? Ooh, we can ask. Comments? We can. Um, I also want like, do we have rules and stipulations? Are we gonna just like anything goes? Because. While I want that, I want stuff that we're going to be able to talk about. Sure. Because hmm. um, hmm. I think in the past we may have, we've entered, 
interacted with some shows that are harder yeah. to talk about. I think a question that <clears throat> should be posed is, you know, what is the purpose of the book club? Is this something that we should be talking about modern anime that's being released right now? Or are we going to talk about like an old classic? But if we're going to do an old classic, you know, people tend to talk about those and do their own like YouTube essays and stuff. Like you'd have to come at it from a specific angle. Mm. It's also with modern stuff. It's also easier to go. Here's the source. Here's where you watch it. Very true. As well Very as true. Yeah. there is a sense of, Oh, we are where you're at. Mm. Though also this show comes out a week after it in some cases, but it's still closer that there's sure. a chance that people haven't seen it. Sure. Whereas if we're talking about older stuff, there's people who could be farther ahead right. and there's a potential for spoilers. Mm, more so I, I mean not more if we're, if we're reading manga and hmm. a week ahead not more than anything else but also is there anything that like we have internally that we would want to like I obviously want to hear what you guys want to watch mm -hmm. but is there anything internally that we're like hey I mean like I, I would think Bakano would be a good candidate but it's hard to access right. Funimation lost the license and mm. So the only way we could watch it is with our the DVD. Yeah, that could be tough um, to watch. But also, it? it's older and it might be harder for some people to hop into. Sure. I don't think so. Well, but what about what about kind of we're talking about the season? What if we just talk about the shows we had discussed that we were so excited about watching? Something mm -hmm. from one of them because I think it needs to be one. Yeah, just one. I think okay. it needs to be one that we visit week to week. I see. The chosen one. I see. Oh, Did, so we're all agreeing that we're going to watch um, I don't think it needs to be no. now. <laughs> it doesn't need to be now. We can. I was going to suggest Cole's show. The the sexy one with the shiny boobies? Yeah. That does sound pretty funny. <laughs> maybe we should. Maybe, maybe You know what? Maybe we, we should. Don't have to decide maybe we should. Uh, uh, we can gamify this a little bit. Oh, I like this. Where at a certain point, uh, you can pull your ripcord and be like, I'm done. I don't want. I don't want. It. <laughs> and I don't if want everybody it. decides bail on yeah. this. Because I, I, I think we ran into that in some of the really early seasons where we're like, we would maybe follow a well, show. And then, like, halfway through that season, we'll be like, the show isn't that great. <laughs> yeah, well, like, I mean, it's stuff with, like, I think we talked about, it, like, the three-episode rule. Like, oh, do you watch three episodes, then you decide. But then anime producers have caught on to that, so They're they like, make the first oh, three episodes really interesting. Episodes. Oh. And then the there's a dead period. Like, and then yeah. it's like, oh, no, episode seven, let's throw a good one in there. Okay, well, we'll like, do some brainstorming. Wait, yeah. If we keep it up, maybe they'll make all of them good episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta make it through the first five. Just, just through the first five. First five, oh, six, seven. How many? You say that. Are One piece. You gotta get through the first two hundred. Then it's good. Like Damn question mark, piece. question mark, question mark. Well, I'm excited that we have a, a year of servicing fans ahead of us. Yeah. Please continue yeah. to tell everybody the about the show. Oh, yeah, the, the future. future. I'm looking in the future, the future, and it's bright. But only if you guys help spread the word. Remember, uh, YouTube RoosterTeeth.com will now have the Rooster Teeth uh, post show for first members. And uh, of course, we're now uh, we have an audio only version audio that you can check out. It's for me, um, which I love that. I love yeah. doing driving to work, listen to my podcast. Um, oh, it's just just for me because only Chris can listen to it. But if you ask him nicely, only. I bet you can do. Or just don't, I don't tell him. Read. He doesn't read. He won't. You get yeah. You can tell him, hey Chris, I'm listening to it. He can't read. I can't, yeah, can't read. So yeah, spread the good word of anime. Um, and hopefully it'll be a good year. Yeah, <laughs> the good word. I think yeah, heard yeah, the good word. word. We heard of the gospel of whatever that titty anime he was talking about was. <laughs> well, well, he's gonna tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New oh, Year! Oh God. <laughs>